Hi all, in previous video we have seen what is exception handling and the syntax and what are the keywords used in the exception handling and we have seen the types of exception handling. In this video we are going to see about the types of exception handling in detail. All exception types are subclasses of the building class throwable java.class slang.throwable. Throwable has two subclasses exception and error. Exception. Exceptional conditions that user program should catch. There is an important subclasses of exception called runtime exception. Exception of this type are automatically defined for the program that you write and include things such as division by zero and invalid array indexing. Error. Exception that are not expected to be caught under normal circumstances by your program. Exception of type of error are used by the Java runtime system to indicate error having, having to do the runtime environment itself. Stack overflow is an example of such an error. and unchecked in exception we have two types checked exception and un, uh, unchecked exception unchecked exception that uh, they are not checked at compiler time but at runtime for example arithmetic exception null pointer exception array index out of bound exception exception under error classes etc checked exception they are checked at compile time for example, I.O. exception, interrupted exception, etc. Uncaught exception. Here we have given the public and class uh, class name as e exe uh, and open braces giving the main function public static void means string arguments. Here we are uh, giving the data type int d is a variable and equal to 0. We are giving the value of 0 int a equal to 42 by d and closing the in this example we have not supplied any exception handler of our own so the exception is caught by the default handler provided by a java runtime system an exception that is not caught by your program will automatically be processed by the default handler Okay, if you are not giving any exception handling in the program means it will be considered as a default uh, handler. Here is a exception generated when this example is executed. java.slang.arithmetic expression that is divided by 0. At x may, okay, this output we won't get because it, they have given the 42 by 0 will be invalid. So, divided by 0, we have already said that uh, divided by 0 will not be get the output. So, for that we will be getting the error in the, at the runtime. What if I want to handle exception by myself manually using try and catch? Manually handle exception, it has two benefits. First, it allow you to fix the error. Second, it prevents the program from automatically terminating. To guard against and handle a runtime error, simply enclose the code that you want to monitor inside a try block. Immediately following the try block, include a catch clause that specify the exception type that you wish to catch. We can see a small example. What if I want to handle exception by manually? Here we are using the try and catch for the program. That public class name we are giving as exe2 and uh, opening that and main function public static void main. Here we are giving the int as a data type and two variable d comma a. Then we are using the try keyword. In that we are giving the monitor of a block of code. Here that we are giving the d equal to 0 and a equal to 42 divided by d. And we are giving the output output line as this will not be printed. After that closing that we are giving the catch keyword arithmetic operation exceptional e system dot 
uh, dot print line equal to division by zero then closing that after that we are giving the another print line hello i caught exception then after that closing note that the call to print line inside the try block is never executed once an exception is thrown program control transfer out of the try block into catch block multiple catch uh, multiple catch clauses in some cases more than one exception could be raised by a single piece of code to handle this type of situation you can specify two or more catch clauses each class has a different type of exception when an exception is thrown each class statement is inspected in order and the first one whose type matches that of the exception is executed after one catch statement executed the another others are bypassed and execution continue after the try or catch block multiple catch clauses we have given a small example multiple catch sorry public class we are giving the class name as multiple class multiple catches and opening that and giving the main function public static void main string arguments and we are giving using the keyword and giving that string a equal to null and the print line is a equal to plus a dot length int b equal to 42 by 0 int c of c of array equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 c of 5 equal to 99 and closing that after that we are using the catch keyword